light light travels in a straight line how does light travel imagine what would happen if light could travel around corners you would be able to see what is happening upstairs in the bedroom while standing downstairs in the kitchen you could also see around a bend in the road crossing the road would be easy too but it is not so light travels in straight lines how does light travel you may have seen beams of sunlight through a window or a hole in the roof or even in a forest we can see some dust particles in the path of light and how is this path it is always straight this is called rectilinear propagation of light recti is equal to straight linear is equal to line so rectilinear is equal to in a straight line propagation is equal to going ahead what does rectilinear propagation mean it means that light goes ahead in a straight line that is how light travels how does light travel this can be verified in a simple experiment take three cardboards a b and c and make a pinhole at their centers place a burning candle on one side of the cardboard a and arrange the cardboards in such a way that the three pinholes and the candle flame are in a straight line the candle flame will be visible through the pinhole of the cardboard c if you move one cardboard out of the way say cardboard c then the holes are not all lined up you will not be able to see the candle this is because the ray of light coming from the candle cannot reach our eyes that happens because light travels in a straight line if light could bend then the ray would reach your eye and you would still be able to see the candle and you could even see around corners that would be cool but such things do not happen why because light can only travel in a straight line light reflection what is reflection if you stand in front of a mirror what you see is an image of yourself this is a reflection we know what a reflection is the question now is how is a reflection formed a reflection happens when light strikes a shiny object and bounces back how can we make light reflect well one way is to make light fall on a shiny surface a shining stainless steel plate or a steel spoon can also change the direction of light the surface of water can also act like a mirror you must have seen the reflection of trees or buildings in water do you remember the story of the lion and the rabbit from the panchatantra the rabbit told the lion there was another lion in the pond and the lion saw his own reflection and thought it was true there is also the story of the greedy dog from aesop's fables the greedy dog with a bone saw his reflection and thought it was another dog with a bone he then tried to grab it and fell into the water and lost his own bone here is an activity to study reflections you will need a pencil that is sharpened at one end and a plain flat mirror 
hold the pencil in an upright position in front of the mirror. What do you see in the mirror? You can see the reflection of the pencil in the mirror. The pencil that you see in the mirror is also known as the image of the pencil. The actual pencil that you are holding is known as the object. So, now move the pencil closer to the mirror. Does the image move closer to? Yes, it does. Now, move the pencil to each side. Does the image move along with the object? Yes, it does. Turn the pencil a little. Hold the pencil in a slanting position. Does the image also do the same? Yes, it does. What did we study in this activity? We know that the image moves just as the object moves. When the object comes closer, the image comes closer. When the object tilts, the image tilts. The image follows the object. But how much does the image actually move? For that, we need to do another activity. For this activity, you need a small colourful object and a chessboard. If a chessboard is not available, you can draw an 8 by 8 grid on a chart paper and colour in the alternate squares so that it looks like a chessboard. Well, so you have a chessboard and you have a small colourful object. This is the object that we have chosen for this activity. Now, we will keep the mirror upright and place the chessboard in front of it. Keep the object on the third square from the mirror. Look at the image. The image is also on the third square from the mirror. Now, shift the object one square behind to the fourth square. What happens to the image? The image also shifts one square behind and moves to the fourth square. You will find that the image is at the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of it. You can verify this by placing the object anywhere on the chessboard. Light Lateral Inversion we have seen so far that the distance of the image behind the mirror is the same as the distance of the object in front of the mirror. The image also looks just like the object. But have you noticed one interesting difference? Stand in front of a plain mirror. Make a friend stand next to the mirror so that the friend and your image are both looking at you. Now, raise your right hand. Your image raises a hand too. Make your friend copy the image's action. Your friend has to raise his left hand to match the image. Now, touch your left ear. Make your friend match what your image is doing. Your friend has to touch his right ear. You will find that in the mirror, the right appears left and the left appears right. Thus, the sides are interchanged. But, understand that only the sides are interchanged. The top and bottom remain the same. The image doesn't appear upside down, does it? So, it's only the sides that are inverted. This is also known as lateral inversion. You must have seen an ambulance on the road. If you look at the front of the vehicle, you will see that the letters are written in reverse. Why is that so? 
when the driver of a vehicle ahead of an ambulance looks in his rear view mirror he can read ambulance written on it and quickly give way to it it is the duty of every one of us to allow an ambulance to pass without blocking its way what did we just learn light always travels in a straight line when light strikes a shiny object and bounces back we call it a reflection most objects reflect light when the reflected light reaches our eyes we can see the object the reflection of an object in a plane mirror is the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of it the image of an object in a plane mirror is laterally inverted which means the left and right get interchanged if you like our videos do share them and subscribe to our channel if you want awesome quizzes write to us keep watching and keep learning with walnut